Oh, well, good evening. I just wanted to pop in for, for a minute there and just let you all know how I did with my yard sale. I ended up doing about, about $400 on the two days. But the second day, it actually, it wasn't supposed to rain that night, but it did. So most of the, I put, I put the stuff that I was really concerned about getting wet possibly from dew, I put it in the garage. Everything else I left it out overnight because, well, I can't. But apparently I can't because it got, it got, everything got soaking wet. I mean, it was a huge, it was really, it was a big heavy storm that came down. And uh, so the second day I really was basically just going through and, and sort of picking out the stuff I was going to throw away and sort the stuff into what was going to the scrap guy who I called and told him to come pick it. I got a bunch of stuff from him. He hasn't come pick it up yet. So I'm thinking about putting it on Facebook and seeing if somebody else is going to come get it because he didn't come yet. So, but he's a young guy with a, a you know, a young family and, and he, you know, he needs, he needs, you know, all the, everybody needs all the, help, all the help they can get. So, but you know, at the same time, I want to get rid of it. So, um, There's enough I could actually probably fill the truck and do it myself, but it's my son's truck and I don't want to, don't want to mess it all up. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff out there to, to go to him yet, and uh, I sold off all the big furniture, so that was good, except for the one where I had a recliner that the handle lever was broke on, and that's just sitting on the, in the trailer to go to, to go to the transfer station, so... But all the big furniture was gone, which is good. I'm glad that stuff all sold. And I actually had a picker show up uh, from Bath, New York. And he, he, uh, I ended up having him, he got to take a trip into my basement with me. Because honestly, he was looking for slot cars. I had probably seven, seven or eight sets down there. And they've been down there for anywhere from five to ten years waiting for me to get the opportunity to list them and i realized while he was here that i just need to sell some things and get them out i don't need to get top dollar for them and he gave me a good price for them it was more than fair for what was there i haven't tested any of them i haven't looked in the boxes in so long that i'm not even sure if the cars are all still in there so without the cars you just get down to the track and there was there was one Aurora set, but I'm pretty sure there was no cars in it. But everything else was Tyco, pretty much. There were some trains. Uh, they were the Tyco trains, though. They weren't. They were like the speed trains, or whatever you want to call them. They they weren't like an HO train. So they were they were different. So they were they're they're probably good. Um, at least they used to be. I don't know if they are anymore. But he gave me a good price for those, and he 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 took a bunch of other stuff that I had in the garage sale, and and give me enough money to pay my discount for the for the for the week, so I can take that to the bank tomorrow and and get that paid off. And that's a good thing. So I'm really, I actually, I'm, I'm satisfied with how the yard sale went. And on, in in all honesty, I have a, a trailer load of stuff now to go down to the transfer station. That's going to cost me probably twenty twenty five dollars to get rid of, and. I have my garage back. No, there's still stuff in the garage to sell. Don't get me wrong. And there's stuff I never even pulled out yet. So, you know, there's still stuff out there. But it's I can get my zero turn in and out, my mower in and out real easy. I can get uh, our bicycles in and out so we can go for a bike ride real easy. I can get to my toolboxes. I can get to everything really easy. That's important. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that makes the yard sale a success. That got rid of a bunch of a bunch of things, and there's enough room there because, you know, now that it's all empty, typically that's about the time that a real estate agent will call me and say, "Hey, can you come do a cleanup?" I'll put a bunch of stuff back, probably. So, or maybe not. It, you know, you never know. But anyway, yeah, I was I'm pretty happy with it. It went, it went, went fairly, pretty well. I got enough to pay my credit card, and and that was cool. So, and what else? Anything else? Um, no, I don't think so. That was it. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you know how I made out. So, not a big deal. I need to get uh, a What's Old video taken care of. But right now, I have my other computer out in the garage because I, I 
I still have a lot of books out there, a lot of World War II books uh, about World War II and, and biographies about guys from then. And I'm listing them on uh, pretty much on half.com or I can't put on half.com. I'm, I'm going to list on eBay and try to, you know, get something out of those. And what I can get anything for, they're just going to go to the recycling center and get recycled. But right now, I need my laptop out there to work on those. So that's what I'm kind of doing. But actually right now, while I was doing the yard sale, I found some Wade Whimsies. So I have to, have to list them. They don't sell. Not for much. Three, four bucks. I'm going to put four ninety nine on them. See what happens. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I, I have to. I, I just got to sell them. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just interrupted what I interrupted listing those to talk to you so with that now see this one this one's got a if you can see you gotta watch these guys there's no chip on there but there's overspray right on his forehead there's overspray right there so it's all hard and nasty I'm, he actually is just gonna he's gonna go to the transfer station with the rest of the trash I feel bad for him. But time to go. Because nobody will want him like that. And if I shift, shift him to somebody like that. Look at this really cool ruler I found, by the way. It's not it's not 12 inches. It's, it's 18 inches. It's an 18 inch ruler. That is a beautiful ruler for helping to fold boxes over. Franken boxes. So that needs to go downstairs to my shipping center. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go. You take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'll keep listening.